Airbus and Boeing solved hydraulics two completely different ways. One went all in on redundancy. The other stuck with mechanical simplicity. On the Airbus A320, launched in the late 1980s, engineers installed not two but three independent hydraulic systems – green, blue and yellow. Each powers different controls, but any two can handle the jet alone. It was the first narrow body to get this level of redundancy. This meant Airbus could run advanced fly-by-wire systems with confidence. Flight controls, landing gear, even emergency backups. If one channel fails, the others instantly take over. Its belt, braces and a spare pair of suspenders all at once. Boeing took a different path with the 737. It has just two hydraulic systems, A and B. A. If both fail, the jet reverts to mechanical cable controls for the ailerons and elevators with manual trim wheels as the ultimate fallback. It's simpler, lighter and keeps the pilot directly in the loop, but far less redundant than Airbus's setup shirt. This split defines their design philosophies. Airbus engineered layers of backup into the system itself. Boeing trusted cables, cranks and pilot muscle as the last safeguard. One is technology heavy, the other continuity driven. Both approaches work, but they show two very different views of what safety looks like. So here's the debate. Do you trust three layers of automation or the pilot's hands on a cable when things go wrong?